or law for probability. Now I'm going to assume some prior knowledge before I crack on with this. Uh, I'll just remind you briefly what it is you should know. Um, first of all is that the probability of an event A is the number of different ways A can happen divided by the total number of outcomes. So just to give you a brief example, if, if I was rolling a die and I wanted the probability of getting a 2, well there's only one way I can get a 2 and there's 6 outcomes in total. So we could have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 or 6. Um, another thing we should know is that the total probability of any given situation should add to 1. So in other words, uh, if I roll a dice, uh, the probability of a 1 plus the probability of a 2 plus the probability of a 3, probability of a 4, probability of a 5, and finally adding the probability of getting a 6. If I add them all together, it's certain one of those outcomes will happen. Uh, so the probability of any given situation will always add to 1. And another thing you should know uh, is that uh, the probability of something not happening, that's what this little um, apostrophe is, uh, it means P complement A, is one take away the probability that A does happen. So again, if I was giving you an example using a die, uh, suppose the probability of not getting a 6 when rolling a die is going to be equal to one take away the probability that I do get a 6 which in this case will be 1 take away 1 sixth, which is 5 sixths. And you can think about it another way. If I don't get a 6, I will get a 1, 2, 3, 4, or 5. And there's five different ways that could happen um, out of the six total outcomes. Um, so if you understand all of this, the next bit should be no trouble at all. Uh, the OR law for probability, which basically states that if I want the probability of A or B happening, I just add the probability of A with the probability of B. So again, using a dice uh, die example, uh, suppose I want the probability of uh, getting a 3 or a 5 uh, when rolling a die, it's going to be just equal to the probability that I get the 3 plus the probability that I get the uh, 5. Uh, which is 1 over 6 plus 1 over 6, which is 2 over 6, or one third of the time. Okay, a slightly more complicated example. So we got a bag with 15 counters. Uh, 6 blue, 4 green, 3 yellow, and 2 red. And a counter is going to be picked out at random, and we're asked to find the probability that the counter is blue or green. So, in other words, I want the probability of blue B or green G. So that's going to be equal to the prob. In fact, before I go straight to answering this question, let me just write down the probabilities of getting each individual thing. So the probability of a blue is going to be 6 out of 15, because there's six ways I can get blue, 15 in total. Uh, the probability of getting a green will be equal to 4 out of 15 we got four greens 15 in total probability of getting a yellow uh, is going to be equal to 3 over 15 no need to simplify the fraction at this stage and finally uh, the probability of a red will be equal to 2 over 15 so probability of blue or green is simply going to be the probability that I get blue plus the probability I get green which is 6 over 15 plus 4 over 15, which is 10 over 15. And if I want, I can simplify that down. Um, two thirds of the time, I will get a blue or green counter. Uh, the probability of yellow or red, again, is going to be the probability I get yellow, 3 fifteenths, plus the probability I get red, 2 fifteenths, which is equal to 5 over 15, and that's 1 
third of the time and it actually kind of makes sense if i don't get blue or green i will get yellow or red and if you see one take away two thirds actually leaves me with one third uh, but pr probability that the counter isn't blue so i'm going to write this as p complement b is equal to one take away the probability that i do get blue and in this case it's going to be one take away six over 15 which is nine over 15. Uh, the counter is red or yellow uh, in fact we've already done this it's also going to be one third it's the same as getting r uh, yellow or red so that's also one third of the time and then finally the counter isn't red or yellow well that's going to be one take away the probability that we do get red or yellow red or yellow which is one take away one third, which is two thirds. And like I spoke about a little bit earlier, that's the probability that I get a blue or a green. Okay, a uh, few questions here for you to have a go at. Um, pause the video and see how you get on with them. Okay, hopefully you've had a go at those questions. Here are the solutions. So we got 11 over 19, 9 over 19, 16 over 19, 10 over 19, and finally 7 over 19. Uh, that's all for this video. Uh, hopefully you found it useful. Best of luck with the revision, and I'll talk to you again sometime.